Hey there, and welcome back to Factorio Tightening the Belt Mega Base Guide. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. It has been a little while since I've done an episode, although I have streamed this, and all those VODs have gone up on my channel. And uh, in the last stream near the end, what we did is we came up with a blue circuit build. So I want to show you guys this and kind of walk you through it a little bit. And uh, then we're going to hop on our train and go back down here, and I'm going to show you what I've done. And then we're also going to try to place down uh, the circuit build and try to get some connections hooked up for that. So... Pretty much, uh, here's the deal. We need to produce about 2,680 blue circuits uh, a minute, give or take a little bit. Okay, so I calculated out like how many machines we need and stuff. Pretty much, this um, print here is 25 uh, machines, 25 assemblers, and this produces pretty much exactly 1.6k. Um, and we we need about 40 assemblers, so. Uh, because another 15 theoretically should give us about an additional thousand ish which would give us 2600 and something uh you know we can put down an, uh another stamp if we, like another partial stamp if we need to uh, change it a little bit here and there but uh, i did test this in creative mode just now to make sure it actually works because uh, i was worried about uh circuits being green circuits being supplied enough here because uh, the math, mathematically, this is actually, it's really nice. It's super clean when you do 12 beacons like this for it. Mathematically, two green circuit belts that are blue belts, two blue belts of green circuits exactly supplies five machines making blue circuits at this speed. Like, exactly. So, like, one belt is literally 2.5. So, two belts is five. Um, but I was worried because the way I'd done this uh, is I have... This line here, and I have these two first guys grabbing um, here on this belt, on this first one. And in this one, I have one inserter grabbing here, because this would be like the 0.5, right? So two and then 0.5. So this should theoretically eat the rest of this belt. And then uh, this one comes down, and we do a little bit of tricky belt stuff. So this one comes under. It doesn't connect to the splitter. It may look like it at first, but it comes under, under here. And then this grabs from this for the other part of its circuits. This comes under here, and then these last two grab from it. Okay. Now, interestingly, when I tested it in creative mode, uh, it actually wasn't eating all the circuits. Like, the whole thing wasn't eating all the circuits, which is a little weird, because like I said, mathematically, this works perfectly. So, theoretically, there should be almost no circuits left on the belts, um, but there was for some reason which is a little weird. Maybe like the creative sources are compressing the belt more than normal, but I don't think that's even possible. Um, so I'm not quite sure how that works, um, but it should work considering that our green bills actually give us fully compressed belts or, or pretty close because there was extra. So if it's not even quite a fully compressed green belt, it should still work. Um, so that's that. And then what we've done is we have red circuits uh, here and also mathematically it works out pretty much perfectly that one blue belt of red circuits should theoretically support 25 machines um, Again though when I tested it there was still quite a few red circuits at the end of the belt at the very end We weren't using them all which I also find a bit odd um, But either way what I've done is I run through this this through the middle It's the same through all of this It just goes through the middle these guys grab it You just need one inserter and what this does is it actually comes out here loops back down and then goes the other direction through the next set and then comes out here and goes under and goes this way this way and then this way and it ends right here okay um, now I mean obviously I can make this more compact by not having it do this but compactness is not really something I'm super concerned about because we're not going to be stacking or tiling this left to right it's going to be up and down right so we put like another stamp down here or something um, and then the acid comes in, um, it may not come in from this side, I just did this temporarily, uh, but it will like actually hook up here. And uh, then we have substations which powers everything which is fantastic. And that's pretty much it. Now in case you're wondering, because I actually made this mistake, I do want to make this clear. When I initially built this, I just made one inserter inserting greens because these need exactly 16 green circuits a second per machine. And then a stack inserter can move 27.7 items a second but this is from a chest like from a chest to a chest or from a chest to an assembler um, essentially from one container to another uh, it cannot pick that much up off a belt and i had forgotten about that um, thankfully someone reminded me uh, so when you're pulling off belts guys make sure that you take that into account the inserters 
do not nearly move as much from a belt into an assembler as I would from like a chest or a train or whatever into an assembler. So you do actually need two here. And I did test it with one just to be curious and it did stop this like every like every production cycle because it didn't get enough circuits in time. Um, so you do need two for this particular scenario. So just keep that in mind when you're building with belts uh, because the inserter, I mean, like when you watch it, right? The inserter has to like pick up each individual item like in its like and, and hold it in its hand from the belt and then put it in. Whereas in a chest, from like a chest to an assembler, it can just grab 12 instantly and then just put it in. Uh, or 13 or it's 12. Okay, so there you go. There's a green build. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, like I said, I tested it. It works great. I'm really surprised, honestly. I expected there to be quite a few pr problems, but I'm actually very happy with how well it works. Uh, so we have that thing. I'll leave that over there just for kind of reference. And uh, we need to get some more materials here and then we'll head over and I'll show you what I did um, with hooking up the red circuits and all that. And then we're gonna try to place down uh, the blue builds here. So what all do we need? We need substations. I was making substations. I could have sworn. Um, I know that I was. I think we actually need quite a few for something. I don't really remember why. I think it, it's the red build, I think. I think the red circuit build uses substations. I'm, I'm pretty positive. So we're gonna head over, get in the train, and uh, go. We're making progress, like, the, uh, and I, I've said this time and time again, um, that it doesn't seem like we've done much because we've only done three things, smelting circuits and red circuits, but these are typically the biggest in a mega base. These are the biggest builds you're going to do by far. Uh, like, if you look at my Sending Supporters to Space series and you look at that map, literally like half of the map like half of the entities on the map or more is smelting in circuits which i think i discussed last episode which i think is really kind of on like just really lopsided but so once we finish these it's actually a huge milestone even though it's technically only four things you know the smelting greens reds and blues um even though it's technically only four things it's like in comparison, the other builds are going to be, like, minuscule. I mean, sure, we have to design them, which will take a little bit, but, like, the um, the size of them and stuff we actually need to place down is going to be minuscule compared to, to what we've already done here. So, we're making progress. I'm really happy. It's it's going pretty well. Um, there's a little bit of belt wonkiness um, here and there, but we can clean it up. Uh, so, what was done with the red circuits? And these are pretty much entire... This build's almost entirely built, I think, except for the substations maybe some modules uh but so this these are the copper belts okay so these come down for red circuits and uh, we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight of them um this only needs a little more than seven so what we've done is is uh this guy comes down here this, get, this gets a little bit confusing um and he goes here underneath and goes to this and we have it set priority to go this way Okay, and then the next belt over comes over and goes here, and this is set priority to go this way, and the rest goes through this, which priorities this way, so on and so forth throughout the build. Um, each one comes over, as you can see, less and less, um, and comes down to here. Okay, and then the green circuits, I think, was already hooked up last time. Uh, this is some of the wonkiness. It's like, kind of doesn't look great, but uh, we can fix that later. This comes in and splits, so half belt here, and then half belt there, and then the full belt here. Um, although this doesn't actually connect, strangely enough. I'm not sure why that got changed. In fact, that one works. Maybe that's the only broken one. Yeah, it should be. Um, okay, so then these come over here, and uh, then this is plastic. Plastic may end up coming in from the top, I'm not sure. Um, but this is one plastic belt. Uh, this is a green circuit belt. Yeah, and then I don't really know what this is. The hell is this? Because this isn't actually hooked up. I actually have no idea what this is. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, that is supposed to be... I don't know. What, what on earth is this? Is this plastic? This is plastic, right? You need like a belt and a half of plastic, I think. Yeah, okay, yeah, because this is the half belt and this is a full belt of plastic. 
Plastic's gonna come through here. We'll have to figure that out. But uh, we haven't even built oil yet, so we'll need that. And then these belts here are all for um, blue circuits, and there's 16 of them. There's eight and eight, and that should be exactly perfect. So we're going to, wow, really? Really game? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to place the blue circuits. Now we could place them here, but the problem with that is then we'd have to bring reds all the way back around. Uh, we could, I could change the red belt so that it starts on this side actually. Um, but I mean, this is a pretty hefty build. Actually, no, it's not. Actually. I wonder if that would be better. That's the wrong direction, you derp. Um, would it actually work to send in the red circuits this way? If I, I would have to reverse it, but I could send them in. Yeah, actually, maybe this would be better. I was going to stick it in front of this. But again, that's a lot longer than I like. If we actually put this here. Now, I don't know how where the steel is going. <laughs> I don't know where the steel belts are going to go. Uh, they're going to have to come like way out here or something. That's the other trick. Um, but no, that's another reason I don't want it to go longer. If we actually put this like here. Then we could just reverse the cir the red circuits. The green circuits would still be fine, but we could just reverse the red circuit thing so that it comes in in the bottom from the right side there, and and that 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 should actually just be fine. Actually, yeah. We, why don't we do that? I mean, hell, could we even do this? Could we even share these? No, because that's not. Or wait, why why couldn't we? Wait, what? Oh, we, we could even share these beacons. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, we're definitely doing this. We're doing this. Uh, I'm putting it closer to the green circuits because uh, there's a ton of green circuit belts that need to run, so it's more belt efficient to have the green circuit belts run the shorter distance, um, you know, because we only need one red circuit belt. So if it has to run from the end of this all the way over, that's fine, instead of running, you know, 16 or 18... Um, it's 16. Uh, green belts all the way down. I hope that makes sense. We are missing some modules there too. Uh, but if we do this, boom. Uh, and then we just need to change around the red belt, which shouldn't be that difficult at all. It's just going to be changing some directions and changing the input a little bit, but it should not be an issue whatsoever. And we get to share those beacons, which is even more fantastic. Uh, you know, the greens still come in from the correct side. And uh, we just need, so this thing here, this takes 10 green belts. And then then we would do th uh, three more stamps because we have six belts left in each, e or three more, by stamp, I mean a section of five, I should clarify. Uh, so pretty much we just need three more rows, I should say. Uh, and that'll use up the last six belts and theoretically should give us about as much as we need. And this thing's pretty much done, aside from some beacons. Uh, we do need more under... I do actually need these undergrounds to be placed. Um, so I can turn them. Actually, can I turn a ghost? Not very well. And this just got all effed up. Yeah, something happened there. I'm not quite sure what. I'll have to change that. It'll be a lot easier to change once uh, we actually have the belt... Or the, <laughs> the undergrounds there. Um, so we need modules. We need beacons. We need... Belt, pipe, okay, that's fine. Let's go grab that stuff. And uh, I mean, this this is actually super easy. The, the blue build out of everything, it's because it's the smallest out of all of this, but the blue build has actually been the easiest by far. Like hooking it up is a breeze um, and stuff. It's, it's really nice because like, here's the thing, right? When you, this is kind of, I mean, it depends on the situation. It is situational, but um, typically, like for me, it's, uh, wow, we do not need that many inserters, holy hell. Um, like the farther into things, like the farther into the base building you get, the easier each step becomes, usually. <laughs> Sometimes that's not the case, like getting my sending support is to space, each one got more complicated because of the train routing. But we're not really dealing with that same type of thing here. Uh, they, they need a pipe too, I think. Uh, I want to take even more undergrounds because... Oh, I don't have room, apparently. Uh, okay, let's throw a beacon back. Uh, because, like, 
you know, now that we had green and red circuits done, blue circuits are a cinch. You know, because like for me, the hardest part is planning out like where the smelter is going to go, where's the green's going to go in comparison to that, where's the red's going to go in comparison to that, and and such. But now that we have these done, so like the next step, you know, like the first science or whatever, once we design the build, it should be super simple because like you literally just take the belts you already have, the iron belts and the which I don't actually know how these iron these iron belts gonna have to go out here too, but. Um, you take the iron belts and, or, and circuit belts or whatever else you need and you just stick them into the build and it's done. Like, and that's pretty much what we had to do here, but there were way more belts, the routing was way, way more difficult and stuff. So if you guys are having trouble, just know that once you get over that hurdle, usually, it's, uh, it actually just becomes easier. Usually. Uh, okay, so make sure all this stuff gets placed. I think, I mean, we're still missing modules and stuff. I'm gonna have to do like a once over on all my builds to make sure the modules are in. Uh, but so what we need to do here then with the red circuits is this is where this ends, right? Well, we need to change this whole direction of things. This belt's already here, but I'm gonna redo it. So this goes like this. This guy is gonna come under, can actually extend out, use the full length. This guy is going to go like that, use the full length again. I don't think I actually used the full length here, but I had to end it there. Uh, and then this, just R over it to rotate. And just boom, boom, boom. Um, this will be a little bit annoying, changing the direction of these belts, but totally not that big of a deal. I think this is better than like winding around the red circuits like outside the build because that's extra belt and it's extra messy we're not actually using extra belt here we're just changing the direction of what we already have and this is all gooped up for some reason i'm not quite sure what happened there like that this thing can be pulled back just trying to clean this up a little bit um hello not what i want game Okay, that direction. I don't know. Something got borked with the blueprint. I think when I made some changes and then re-blueprinted it in the creative world. Something got a little messed up, but everything should still work fine once I catch these little oopsies here and there. Turn that and boom, boom. Turn him. And this should not at all affect how the inserters grab, theoretically. It shouldn't really change that, so... Because I actually, I actually changed this once already, uh, so it definitely should work. Okay, so you go like that, you go like that. I didn't have to tear those up. I always, like, these new features, these newer features, like where you place this and then the belt in between goes away. I've been playing for such a long time, it's really hard for me to, like, incorporate these into my play style because I, uh, I don't remember, like, that it even exists most of the time because it never used to exist. Um... Let's just go like that, like that. Okay, so you did that. Boom. Boom. Done. Done. And end. And then you're done there. Boom. Perfect. Fantastic. So now what we can do is get rid of... Holy heck. Why do I have so many blueprints? Alien balancer. I don't want that. I'll probably need that. <laughs> but... But that's fine. 12 to 12. I should probably keep that. Um, so what we're going to do now that this is fixed is we're going to take uh, the part where the input is and we're going to take... Well, we actually need to cut these pipes. They do go under, but uh, not like that when we when we stamp it. Uh, so what we're going to do is whoop, we're going to take where the input is. Come on, man. Take where the input is, and we're going to grab three rows. So one, two, three rows. Make sure that we get everything from this row that we need, which should be this, theoretically. Boom. Place that there. And that should be 16 green belts worth. Um, now, again, the red surrogate belt, so we're going to need one blue belt. And I, there's still extra for some reason. 
Um, but we're going to need one blue belt and then some extra because obviously we don't want to feed a full blue belt into this, um, into the next, into the last three rows because there's going to be leftover. And since everything is ratioed out, if we just send a whole blue belt to these last three rows and then just let the excess sit here, something else in the base is going to be short, right? So if five take a full blue belt, ish they don't actually quite but um well uh, uh yellow belt is a third of a blue belt we may be able to get by with a yellow belt of red circus to the last third it may have to be a red belt i'm not sure that may just have to be a trial and error thing i could math it out but i did math it out actually at one point to figure out that a blue belt would work so i could math it out again i'm not going to do it on camera but I'll figure it out. It's either going to be a yellow or, or red belt that goes to the last three. And, uh, and I mean, that was, dang, that was easy, guys. I didn't expect it to be this easy. I got, you love it when things go this smooth. Uh, and the rest of the red circuit, uh, belts are actually just going to go to the bus. Uh, you know, primarily they're going to be used for like blue science and the electric furnaces for purple science and, uh, and all that stuff. So grab those. We were, we, had assembly, we were missing beacons, I believe. Grab some of these. Grab some of those. Run back down, and this should about do it. So, I do still need to finish the steel build. Like, the, the builds are placed, we just have to finish placing it, which is a royal pain. Because there's just so many dang things to place. Uh, but then after that, we can run the belts down, the iron belts, the steel belts, paths of uh, red circuit build, run those out, run the blue circuit belts out, and uh, we should be in pretty dang good shape. Uh, so this blue circuit build is going to be producing slightly more than a blue belt, right? A blue belt is 2,400 items a minute. Uh, we need 2,600 in change. Um, so it's going to be a little more. So we're going we're gonna to have to essentially run a blue belt and a yellow belt out, which is going to be interesting how we do that. Um, I think our best bet is probably going to just be do like a however many belts this is. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. So like an eight to two balancer or something, or like an eight to four. Um, and then take a blue belt and a yellow belt out and then just set priority on the splitter to blue belt to the blue belt side. So we just make sure we get the full blue belt. Uh, so there's that. We're still missing modules and these are not connected just because uh, I'm a little bit of a derp. So this goes this way, or wait. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Oh no, no, that's the other input. Okay, I'm, I'm losing myself already, guys. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, so there we go. That's the blue circuits. It's tiny, right? Can you? I mean, 2,600, uh, almost 2,700 blue circuits from this build right here. Pretty impressive. Uh, so there we go. And then the green circuits are just gonna boom, 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 boom. Hook up here. We could actually do some of those or all of them. I just want. I want to make sure I have enough room. So this is where things are gonna get a little bit hairy. Uh, this was the one problem with doing this because we somehow have to run plastic through here. Uh, good thing I left this gap. We may have to run the plastic underneath these somehow. Uh, so if we... Uh, I'm trying to figure out distance here. Like, let's just say we do this. We can always move things so we don't have enough room. It's really not that big of a problem. Okay, so then you're going to come over here. Boom. Some of these are going to end up running down, actually. Uh, you're going to come over here. Oh. You're going to go... Oh man. Planned, calculated, and executed. Okay, so let me make sure I'm feeding these in on the right spot. Uh, that goes like that. This one's gonna come over. We could just run it there just to save room. You're gonna come down here. Boom, boom, oh. So, and then this one's gonna come over here. Whoop. Like that. This guy's gonna hook up here. Oh, oh, well, we will need that there, so that's fine. And these stupid trees in the way, man. Get out of here. 
You're in the way of my industrialization. Go away. Go away or be polluted to death. Boom. No! Alright, that's the one thing I don't like about that feature, is when you accidentally do that. And we didn't even have to move that one. Man, today, if there's something difficult, like something that I think is going to be difficult that I need to do today, I should be doing it. <laughs> like, like even non-factory related, man. Because everything is literally working out perfectly. So, if... <laughs> If there's anything I need to do today that I think would be difficult, I need to just get on that and do it today. Because, I mean, look at this. We didn't even have to move that. Like, dang, man. And, like, and I'm not taking credit for this. Like, I mean, sure I can say it was calculated, but, I mean, come on. <laughs> this is just luckily working out perfectly. And I love it. After all the headaches of the other belts, this is so, so refreshing. Oh, it's glorious. I mean, well, it looks a little bit wonky, but... Yeah, plastic is going to have to come in through here. Or it could come in through the top. Um, but I think I still want to do oil down here or something. Uh, so there we go, guys. Blue circuits hooked up, ready to go. Uh, the acid, again, acid can't really come in from the top particularly easy. So it's almost going to have to come in from the bottom. Uh, and there's tons of oil and water down here. I, I, I'm just going to do oil somewhere. I'm not sure where, but somewhere over here. Uh, so there you go. I'm going to call that an episode. I'm very happy with the progress we've made. Next episode... Maybe oil, actually. Because I want to get this stuff hooked up before I start building stuff on the bus. Otherwise, it's going to get kind of convoluted in my head. So next episode, we may mess around with an oil build. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. If you have any questions... Uh, you know, as this is a tutorial and guide, definitely leave them down below or suggestions, comments, whatever. Let me know. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.